Okay, now as promised, we we're uh, briefly discuss scientific notation. Um, uh, anytime you have scientific notation, you can use that to discuss a very, very large number, a very, very or a very, very small number. Okay, in standard scientific notation, you have one uh, decimal part that contains one in integer, uh, 1.2. You have the exponential part times 10, and then you, of course, have the exponent. Okay, which can either be positive or negative as we saw. Now, if you have a positive exponent, what that means is you are multiplying the decimal part, the integer, by 10, however many times your exponent says to n times. So if it is 10 to the 0, 10 to the 0 power is 1, um, so you're not going to be, you're just multiplying your value by 1, but let's start at 10 to the 1. There was 10 to the first deciliters, so you're multiplying your integer by 10. 10 to the third says that you should multiply your decimal part, your integer, by 10 three times. So 1 times 10 times 10 times 10 is 1,000, or 10 to the third. Okay? Conversely, if... Uh, the exponent is negative, that means you're going to divide your decimal part by 10 n times, n equaling the exponent value again. So 10 to the minus 1 is 1 divided by 10. Uh, 10 to the minus 2nd is 1 divided by 10 divided by 10, two, or 2 tenths. You can also think about this as 1 times 1 tenth twice. 1 times 1 10 times 1 over 10 equals 0 0.01, or 10 to the minus 2. Okay, uh, 10 to the minus 3rd, of course, is multiplying that by 1 tenth three times, or dividing it by 10 three times. Okay, inter converting scientific notation and integer values is actually quite simple. Um, what you're going to want to do is just move the usual uh, game for uh, completing this is moving your decimal place so that you have a decimal part and one integer counting how many times you move your decimal if you're moving your decimal to the left however many times you move it to the left that becomes a positive exponent anytime you move your decimal value to the right you're going smaller than one so however many times you move the decimal to the right that becomes a negative exponent Okay, so let's look at these few examples. Okay, uh, if we wanted to convert 100,000 to scientific notation, we'd find our decimal right there, and we'd move it 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so our value becomes 1.0 times 10 to the minus, or excuse me, 1.0 times 10 to the fifth. It's a positive integer, or excuse me, exponent, because we moved it to the left five times. Okay, let's look at the uh, other side of the coin. If we find our decimal and we move it to the right, 1, 2, 3, that becomes 6.7 times 10 to the negative third. Now this printout actually contains a mistake, so let's fix this one. Uh, this value is not 1.0 times 10 to the minus fifth. So let's rewrite that and try to figure out what it is. So how many zeros? We got five zeros there. Okay. So, let's move our decimal to the right and count how many times we do it. We're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so that number should be 1.0 times 10 to the negative 6. We moved our decimal point to the right 6 times. So that is wrong, negative 6. Okay. So hopefully that was a good um, reintroduction or review of scientific notation for you. Okay, uh, now anytime we're going to do a measurement in the lab, uh, there's going to be some uncertainty in our measurements. And that's going to have a profound impact on our results. Okay, and to show you um, what we mean by uncertainty, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to do, you know, a, an, uh, an example or... Uh, of trying to measure this line as accurately as possible. Now, of course, to measure a line, we're going to need a ruler to measure it. So let's just pretend we have a ruler that looks like that. And actually, it should extend a little bit further. So, 
So let's go here. Okay, that's our ruler. And say this is reading in centimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six centimeters. And this is in centimeters. Now, let's measure this line as accurately as we can. Okay, so we can see that the end of this line exceeds five, but certainly doesn't go as far as our six centimeter markings. Okay, so what we can do, and for analog measurements, which uh, measuring with meter sticks, uh, rulers, volumetric glassware is also analog instruments where there's continuous spectrum in between the uh, divisions. Uh, we're always going to be able to estimate one digit, okay? And that sort of introduces some uncertainty, but it also gives us a lot more information uh, than um, we previously could have had if we didn't estimate that uh, digit. So since we know that this line exceeds the five marking and certainly is below the six marking, we're absolutely sure about that five. So we could write down five centimeters. But we can always estimate one digit, okay? Since this has the single ones digit, we can estimate to the tenths digit, okay? So we can say that this is five point, let's say two centimeters, okay? Are we absolutely 100% certain of that two? No. But it definitely gives us more information that we know that this number was not slightly below 5 when we rounded up in a calculation uh, or anything else like that. Okay. But what would happen if, instead of using this ruler, we had a ruler that gave us tenths divisions? Okay. So we picked up a different ruler. And it gave us one, two, three, four, five, six, and it gave us tense markings. Okay? Now, of course, I didn't draw that the, the, the best I could, but it will give you the right idea. Now that we have uh, tense markings, and of course, this entire ruler would have this. Um, we can estimate even one more digit, okay? Now we can clearly see that this line is definitely past the five. We have information about the tenths digits. We know it is greater than 5.1, but it doesn't quite reach the tenth, the second point two uh, division for this ruler. So now, using that rule that we can estimate one digit, we can say that this line is actually 5.24 centimeters. We estimate it out to the 100th uh, position because we were able to, because this new ruler had tense markings. Okay, So that's why it's so important to <coughs> estimate one digit. Because we can see with our previous calculator ruler, we were only able to, excuse me, that should be 5.14. Made a mistake. Okay, we, we saw that this um, line would look like it was around 5.2 centimeters. With a different ruler with a little bit higher um, degree of accuracy, uh, we were able to estimate to the hundredth digit and we see it's not quite 5.2 centimeters, it's actually around 5.14 centimeters. Okay, so again, for any analog instrument uh, like volumetric glassware or um, thermometers or um, measuring sticks, always going to estimate one digit.